Come on over, ladies. Hello, Jay. Hi, Mia. It's so lovely to see you. <laughs> so lovely to see you and to meet you. You are incredibly beautiful and graceful and special and... Where do I start? <laughs> Where do you start? <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for joining me. Yes, so now we are going to cook one of Mia's favorite dishes. It's an authentic Thai green curry. Jay, where do we start? I believe this is one of your favorite meals. Yes. And it begins with making your own Thai green curry paste. And Mia and Zureda, you didn't just come here to look beautiful and, no, and um, sassy. Yes. You're going to be helping us make our own Thai green curry paste. So, Mia, we've got some ingredients over here. And Z, if you wouldn't mind helping with Yeah, sure. With what do you want us no, to do? No, so, of course not. Literally, we've scaled everything out for you to sort of how I would, my preference in terms of chili, heat, salt, and all of that. So it's literally just putting all of these beautiful ingredients into the blender okay. and whizzing it up. Okay. okay Should we start, Mia? So, and the order doesn't really matter. You can start with the onions. We've got some lemongrass, some coriander, we've got some ginger, we've got some shrimp paste, okay. we've got some fish sauce, lemon, uh, lime leaves dried, some coconut um, milk, milk just to bring it all together, yes. and some Chilis. green chili. Amazing. And then all I'm going to do is to put some oil into our pan that's already nice and hot. And the beautiful thing about starting this is this point when you hear this beautiful curry paste sizzling in the pan. So I'm going to go in with about two to three tablespoons in there and it's already starting to sizzle. And what I love about this is that it's something that you can make ahead of time and you can definitely keep it in your fridge until it's ready to, yes. to, to use. So into the pan, we're going to deglaze with some coconut milk, which I absolutely love. And it's, what I love is, it's so simple. So for someone like you, Mia, with a busy schedule, this is right up my alley, and this would be amazing for you. So we're going to just get that cooking down. And then it's simple, right, from this point, because you've gone through all the effort of making that beautiful curry paste. It's all about just adding a few components. So we've got can some veggies. You can go for okay. it, see? <laughs> now you have to give that a spell because I think it's so special. Special no, with the lemongrass, right? Now, no, Mia... I absolutely love Thai cream curry mm -hmm. because, first of all, if you look at the curry paste, the input ingredients, it's so healthy. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it's so flavorful, and that is what I'm all about when it comes to cooking making healthy food taste delicious. Delicious, right? Yes. And, and healthy food doesn't have to be boring. And I mean, look at how exciting, exciting exactly. this is. We've put some lovely green vegetables. If you're not a, me a fan of meat, if you're vegetarian, you could leave the chicken out. I love adding the chicken. I'm going to garnish with some fresh basil. Gonna give it a nice tear oh. and get those fragrances nice and developed. It smells good already. And then a little bit of fish nice. sauce. Mm and you let nice. this cook down nicely. And then later, we will serve this up with some jasmine rice. Love that. And have Ooh. a party. How do you feel? Yeah, no, very <laughs> excited. Oh, it looks so delicious. I just want to eat it out of the pan, but I will hold myself back. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. If you'd like to get your hands on this Miss South Africa worthy Thai green curry, then all you have to do is head on over to afternoonexpress.co.za for the full recipe. And after the break, we chat to a young man who hears music again after years of silence. We'll see you in a bit.